Hey guys, so I am filming my March favorites and I'm going to go ahead and get into this video because I have a lot to talk about, a lot to share with you guys. Um, and I think everything is a favorite. I don't hate anything. No, I don't. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about makeup. Um, I have been using the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen with an SPF of 15 in it. I love this. If you're wondering why it's in a box, I kept it for review purposes. But this is what it is. It's just a white, creamy concealer. And it smells just nice and clean. But this is supposed to um, improve the tone, texture, dullness, blotchiness, and brown spots on your skin. And let me tell you, this is, this is true. This is like a thousand percent true because I have used this before and I haven't used it in such a long time that I am just in love with it again. So I really, really love this product. Um, just started using it about like a week, but I just love it because it just reminds me of how great it was back in the day. Okay. Next is my foundation, um, the NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup. I am in the shade 676 Ivory. I think this is the lightest one. If not, there's one more, but this is all they have left. So I just picked this up, and it works for me. Um, I don't really want to try the lightest one because it does oxidize. And I don't know. This seems really light when you put it on, and then it oxidizes to, like, my tone of my skin. And I know I have this little pimple here, so sorry. But anyways, this is, like, three bucks or something. And I actually really like it. It's a little bit of a thicker consistency. So what I was doing is mixing a gel moisturizer in with it um, to get it a little bit lighter. But I like it by itself now. It provides, like, medium to full coverage. So I really enjoy this foundation a lot. My favorite mascara is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara with Avec Grow Lash Complex. It looks like this, and this is the wand. Um, just a nice wand. It's great for lower lashes and upper lashes. You can definitely build this up to about two or three coats before it gets really spidery and clumpy, that type of thing. But I love this, and it has been growing my lashes. I know this because my lower lashes used to be just kind of whatever, but my, they have gotten way longer, which is amazing. I love this mascara. Thanks to Jaclyn Hill. Um, to set my brows, I love the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. This is $1. I purchased mine at Target. This is the eyebrow side. This is the mascara side. I use both for eyebrows, clearly, as you can tell. And this lasts me for three months, and then I just go and spend another dollar, and I'm good to go. So, great product. Really recommend it. My favorite highlighter is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cooling Eye Brightener. Now, when I put this on my eye, I don't know if I got this, like, in my eye or something, but it, like, burnt my eye. So then I was like, well, I don't want to, like, throw it away. I want to, like, try and make it useful for something. So I will mix it into foundation, or I will just use it as a highlighter on the cheekbones, bridge my nose, that type of thing. I love this. This is really great. It's got a pink tone. It's very nice and brightening. I really, really like it. So definitely recommend this. And also the Anastasia, Be Anastasia Beverly Hills um, excuse me, Eye Lights Matte in Camille. That's the name of it back here. And it's just a beautiful light pink. But I use this as concealer. I'll use this as an eye primer. It's kind of like a cream to powder finish. So I wouldn't recommend this if you have drier under eyes. But I really like the brightening effect. And since I'm so... Fair, this really helps conceal for me and I love the formula it's so nice and creamy I really enjoy it but again if you have super dry under eyes I wouldn't recommend this all right for lips I've got two products here that I have been loving this is the Jack Black intense therapy lip balm in natural mint and shea butter I like to put this on before I do my makeup during my makeup at night whenever my lips are just crazy chapped I love this it has an SPF of 25 I love the scent I love the formula and it really does hydrate my chapped lips amazingly. The color I am wearing right now, whoa, the color I'm wearing right now is Tarte Strawberry Sensation. I love this shade. It's just a really pretty light peachy pink. And it's kind of, when you top it over a nude, it just makes it more of a pinky nude. Now, whatever the heck happened to my brush, I have no idea. Do you see? <laughs> so it something crazy happened to my brush, but the formula is great. It's not sticky. It's not like a lip gizmo. It's not like a lip gloss by MAC. Those are really, really sticky. 
it's just great. It's nice and hydrating. It's smooth. I really like it. It's creamy. It's pigmented. It's a great formula. All right, I've got three things for the eyes, and that would be my first one, which is the Estee Lauder Dual Silky Eyeshadow Duo in 17 Aubergine. So this is what the name of this looks like. These are so silky, very pigmented. I like to use this as a base for my eye as well as blending things out. But like I said, it's just so silky, really, really smooth. I really like it. It's like butter. And then this is just an eggplant brown that I really like. By the way, nails are kind of crazy, I know. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Brow Kit. I really enjoy this product a lot. I just kind of found a new use because I've run out of my other bronzer because there's some in the side, but I just can't get color out. So it comes with three highlighters, a champagne, a gold, and a rose gold copper kind of color. And then you've got a light, medium, and dark brown for the brows. I use the lightest one clearly for my brows, but I also use that to contour with. It's really weird, but like that's all I have that's going to work to contour, so that's been working. Um, and I love these for putting in the inner corner or using them as eyeshadows wet. Those are really great, so really recommend this. This is probably old packaging, though. Give me one second because I have to go get my puppy. Okay, so, how to get my dog. Next favorite is the Kat Von D um, eyeshadow palette in Beethoven. That's what the front looks like. This is the name back here. It comes with eight eyeshadows. It has the same packaging as NARS, so it does get a little dirty, which is something I just don't really care for, but everything else I love. So these are the four shadows. The shadows I have been loving mostly out of here is Jelena, which is a really pretty, um, light lilac kind of like a gray based lilac sorry and then leather which i love it's a matte brown it's perfect and then sometimes center it's not a huge favor but i have been using center and tequila i love this um and also lucifer which is this black it's a great matte black i absolutely love it so the matte formulas are great they're super pigmented highly intense tequila and gelino are very pigmented as well and center it's not super pigmented but i just like it to smoke things out with so i really enjoy this palette a lot i've had it for a while i really really recommend it okay moving on to brushes actually so grab something else brushes we've got several brushes here i'm i've found that they have become my favorite. So this one, I use it all the time. This is just a fluffy brush. As you can see, it's just nice for blending out things and blending out my edges and just putting a base color all the way down. So I really like this. This is by Flirt Cosmetics. You can find this at Kohl's. Um, this one is a Coastal Sense. It's a, it is a, an angled eyeshadow or eyeliner brush. I use this for eyebrows because I can't find my other one. Um, but I like this one way better. So that's what this is by Coastal Sense, really great brush. Um, I've got this, which I really like to just buff things out or to set under the eyes. Um, it's just a really big kabuki, and I like the fact that it has a bigger handle. This is by Essential Beauty, I guess. I'm pretty sure I picked it up at TJ Maxx. And then this brush is what I've been using to blend out my brow powder with on my brows. I really, really like this. This is by Sony Kashuk. Um, really like the brush handle. It's really great. The quality is great. I don't really use the comb side that much for my brows, but I use the brush side to blend. As you can tell, it's dirty. So I really like that. And then this Sony Kashuk one, which is an angled, um, I think it's an angled crease brush is what she calls it, but I've been using this. I really, really like it. There's another one that I really like too, but then I just switched over to this one for a different color, but the other one I've been liking a lot as well. All right, this is a Coastal Sense angled contour brush or blush brush maybe really really like this brush for contouring a lot even for blush as well i really enjoy this brush a lot it's my coastal sense it's cheap it hasn't fallen apart and it's been through like everything so i really like this um this is another favorite brush by coastal sense as well i'm not sure what this is called if it's just like a little shader brush or what it is but i use it to smudge out black liner with my black lucifer shadow so i really like that and then this is my favorite foundation brush recently. Um, so this is by Sony Kashuk as well. I believe this is called an angled um, foundation brush. I first tried this out for concealer, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try this out for my whole face. So I don't like paint it on, 
that's just crazy. I like pat and swirl and do all kinds of random things. It's kind of dirty, but I do really recommend this a lot. It's a really good brush. I don't know, I, I got this in a set for two Christmases ago, but this is a really good brush. Okay, so moving on to bath products is the Cuckoo Oil Conditioner by Organics. I love this conditioner. It smells amazing. It smells nice and like warming scents. I've got black on my finger. But yeah, it smells vanilla-y and almondy, and it's really nice. It does um, really hydrate the ends of my hair. It really gets rid of frizz. Um, about once a month, I put it all the way through my hair, but I don't do that every time I wash because otherwise it just really weighs down my hair. But it's great for the ends of your hair like it's supposed to be for. Um, I don't have the matching shampoo. I just was looking for a conditioner at the time, but I definitely would try that out as well. I love this. Love the way it smells. Love the formula. It's nice and thick and rich. I let this sit for five minutes on my hair while I do everything else. My favorite shampoo is the Salon Exclusive Techniques de Singe Paris, which is by L'Oreal Paris. This is the illuminating shampoo for color-treated blonde hair in California Blonde. This is an amazing shampoo. It really lathers nicely, which I know is kind of like, why would you lath like why do you want to lather in for your hair? It's kind of stripping hair. I don't know. I just like that. Some people don't. But I do. This doesn't strip my hair. I haven't found it really does hydrate my hair nicely. It has an it has a beautiful a beautiful scent. It smells so good. It says it has passion flower extracts and it literally smells like a floral bouquet of like roses and things. I don't know. It's just a really great product. So again, I only have the shampoo for this, but this is a good a good blonde shampoo for people who don't want to spend $20 on a shampoo. This is only $9.99 and I picked mine up at Target and it gets out any brassiness that you have, whether you've colored your hair blonde or if you've bleached your hair blonde, this gets out the orange brassy ugliness of your hair that will happen. Doesn't matter what kind of water you have, it just happens to all of us blondes. So this has really worked well and I really recommend it. So definitely go pick this up and try it out. Alright, to wash my face, I've been loving the Lush Coal Face. This smells kind of manly and herbally, so if you don't like those scents, this isn't going to be one for you. But if you have a lot of troubled skin, maybe you kind of want to rough through that and definitely use this product. This smells like charcoal. This is a charcoal-infused bar of soap. Um, I like the way it smells. It doesn't really bother me in the shower. I can't really smell it all, too much, all that much. Um, it doesn't bother me. These type of things don't. But... Um, when you are washing your face, and I'll just take it and go like this all over my face. I think I just put some on there. Um, little pieces, um, little bits of charcoal will come onto your skin and just kind of break down any dead skin cells that you have, dry patches, get rid of any just random things on your face that you don't need. And it'll also break down acne. So, over time. It doesn't like do it within one wash, you do have to use it probably like three times before. So if I will like wash this three times, you don't have to do this in the shower, I just do it in the shower all the time just because. But, you know, wash this area for me three times, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it should be gone. So that's how fast it works though. I mean, that's not too bad, I don't think. So I really like this product. Um, this pricing depends on how big a size of the soap you get. The soap lasts a really long time. I'm pretty sure I've had this since... It was like our 11 months we bought this or something. No, this was since February, so I've had it for about a month, and it still lasts me a long time, and it's not gotten very much smaller, so I really do enjoy that. All right, I'm going to move on to apps on my iPad. So let me unlock it here. First one is called Covet. It looks like this when you open it up. I absolutely used to just non-stop get on this all the time. It's not that much of a favorite anymore. It's kind of one of those things where you're like, oh my gosh, play it every day, play it every day, and then you kind of get bored of it. Um, that's what happened to me, but what you do on this app, it is kind of fun. You get to design um, fashion outfits and try and win prizes like clothes or diamonds or more money. And there goes my iPad. Yes! There goes my iPad telling me um, some great news that I was excited about. But yeah, you can just enter to win prizes. You get money when you enter in, in into events um, and things like that. And sometimes there are certain criteria or there's a daily 500 where it's just style of look. 
Um, so people vote vote on it, and then you get prizes um, if you have four and at four point or higher. Next app is the episode app, which I just got notified by. This is what it looks like. It's called Episode Choose Your Story when you open this. I love this app. If you love reading or if you think reading is a little bit boring even, this is the app for you because this is an interactive story. Basically, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm Lily and... I'm trying to pick out an outfit. What do I want to look like? It'll literally give you like three to four options and like you can pick. If you don't like it, you can say no and like go back to the others. I mean, it's just great. Or it'll be like, do you want to talk to Ethan today? Just, I don't know. Just, it'll ask you questions during the story and you'll kind of create your own story. Like you created your own ending. So not everybody's going to get the same ending. I don't think anyway. I have so far read one whole story and I am on my second one now. I'm hoping it'll load. Um, but I do think I remember what it's called. The first one I read was called Real Hollywood. And the second one I'm reading is, um, something about Cedar Hill, but it's kind of a mystery. I'm pretty sure. Well, not pretty sure. I mean, it is a mystery, but I love it. The only thing that is like, you know, you're reading along, it's getting juicy, and you have, when you first start out, you only get two passes, um, and then when you've read, like, so many ca chapters, you get three passes to read three chapters, m like, one chapter more than the, than the two you were reading previously. You have to wait three hours, or every four hours, to get either two or three passes, depending on when you started, and it'll just get so juicy, and then you're like, oh my god, what happens next, and then you're like, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna just read the next one and you're like out of passes and you're like no but you can buy more if you want to but it's like why buy some when you can just wait for some but you know that just keeps me going I read this all the time and it's like so much fun I really enjoy that one a lot and then I think that's all the apps I have been loving recently oh no I haven't sims free play looks like this when you open it up I'm gonna shut the volume down um, looks like that when you open it up and it's just loading, loading, and loading. You basically have a little town of sins that you are caring for. Um, and you're, you know, sending them away on their jobs. And you have different quests, like Unicorn Quest, which I'm on right now. I just did the Sunset Valley Mall one a while ago, or like probably a week ago. And um, there's a castle, a pet park, a pet salon. There's a restaurant now. There's a wizard sorcery. The Teen Idol Mansion I still haven't unlocked. I'm just low, I guess. Um, there's just so much going on in the city of Simtown. So I'm just obsessed. I've been playing The Sims since, like, Sims... I think since The Sims, um, and I just really like that app. It's really great because it's like, this takes your Sim five minutes to do. It literally takes real-time five minutes, but you can't, like, skip it. You can't say, let's say you started at three, and it's like five minutes to wash your hands or something, and then you just, you can't change on your iPad settings. It's 3.05. It knows. It's got a timer, but if it does tell you a task to do between 6 a.m. and 11 a.m., like, you can change your time settings on your iPad or phone, and that will let you um, do your task. Because who the heck is going to be up at 6 a.m. if you don't have to be for a game? I'm not that crazy into it, but I am into it. But anyways, guys, that's my March favorite favorites for 2015. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And in my next video, I'm going to be introducing you to my BFF. No, to my little child. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys. I'm sure you're all thinking, child, what? Yeah, guys, a lot has changed. So I will see you in my next one. Bye.